At 16, I made a decision that I was going to be a virgin when I got married. It's one thing for my mother to make the decision, but I had to take that word for myself and say, I'm going to go ahead and honor God's concept for marriage and for waiting. And it wasn't easy because there was a whole lot of noise telling me this was a dumb decision and look what you're missing out on and all of that. But I had a faith to know that if I stayed in tune with the melody of heaven for my life, he was writing something and he was creating a song and a sound that was going to leave an imprint on the earth, the anatomy of a love song. See, here in Song of Solomon, we see this budding romance and relationship between this Shulamite woman and Solomon, the son of David. And so there is this symbiotic connecting. There's this thing that God does with us. And it's happened in all of our lives. And while God was writing me, he was writing my wife. And just like she was walking down that aisle, what I didn't realize is that as she was walking her path, God had me walking this path, knowing that one day our songs would interconnect. See, a good love song has a chorus, a verse, and a chorus. That's the, that's the thing that keeps you grooving. That's the thing. Always and forever. As soon as you hear it, you know where it's going. You love it already. And then every day, love me your own special way. That's when the other person come in and y'all start singing together. Be like, I love my heart away. Yeah, with a smile. And then all of a sudden, now somebody else is singing with you. And this is what the enemy hates. He hates harmony. 